We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. It's the pivotal Game 5 of the World Series between the New York Yankees and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And, Danny, this is still anyone's series here as we get ready for Game 5. Well, they're down three games to one, so it's do or die time now. That's not a good place to be, obviously, but we do see some teams play their best when their backs are up against the ropes. The key is to just take it one game at a time and not worry about how many more wins you need. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. The dude, Gerald, has the ball for the fifth game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. Leading off tonight for the Yankees, the left fielder, John Shatner. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a swing and a miss on the game's first pitch, and that's how game five is begun. First pitch, 7 6 And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Hey, nobody out now. The next 0 2. Hey, strike this guy out. Let's go. Oh, and a nice changeup that time gets him to swing right through it as the leadoff man is down on strikes to open up the ball game. Batting second, the second baseman, Cole Tucker. One down now, one down. Now the pitch. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Tucker is a strong defender go, playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang, bang at first every time, but the guy's out. He's got sure hands and an accurate throwing arm. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. That in third. Into the box, the right Clyde McGregor. As he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start Come the on, inning. Fellas, let's go. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, oh, it's 0-2. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Oh, 
And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Leading off for the Yankees, the first baseman. Hey, we got no. Paulson. Come on, guys. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Palmer, the former Miami Marlin, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer term deal, but these are the facts right now. Nope, he is on a one year deal and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi year he's been looking for come off season. The one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business ah, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff you know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there it's just nasty there aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound at the plate Wander Franco as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one and we'll see if he can at least put the ball in play. Something the first four men have been unable to do. Hey, we got one here. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick keeping the ball down in the zone and if you take a look at this guy so far early on a lot of positive signs he looks like he brought his good stuff in this one and this will be fouled away the 0 2 once more on, hit on the ground out to short and that's the second out. And with two away now, let's take another look at our playoff brackets. And of course, the question on everybody's mind, will we crown a champion here tonight? Now to the plate, Henry Padilla. He'll get to take that his first good. cuts here. The third baseman, Henry. The pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D Road, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Behind 0-2 now. Hey, strike this guy out. Let's go. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Coming to the plate now, the dude, Gerald, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. Line toward the gap in left center, and that'll get down out there near the wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. 
Boy, you know, in today's game, D-Row, pitchers are being taught high velocity, go get ahead, strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put-away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in the count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. He Number wanted to use an ambush tactic, and it worked. Mario. Here's the payoff pitch. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. He could get the early hook if he can't be a little bit more precise here. That's walk number two of the inning, and we're only in the second. Coming to the plate now, Eric Tachiki. For Philadelphia. The second baseman, Eric Tachiki. He set the 0-1. Flares this one over toward first. All right, he's up. And yeah, it comes it. up on him there as it kicks off the glove. One run is scored. No, he's and he's three. safe. Boy, talking about having ducks on the pond right there, d -Rose. I know everybody wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember. But without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there, you remember these knocks. So coming to the plate, Jason Dominguez, 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Batting it. At the plate now, Josh Ludwig. Ludwig. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Yankees still on the lookout go, for guys. hit number one here. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch-outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. In now, Nick Margavichus. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. He knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate. He knows he has a cold zone away, but the bottom line is this pitch. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Phillies lead this one three to nothing. Into the box, Josh Shatner comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. Chopped to third, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Go, go. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. 
Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. The second base. Into the box Cole. now, Cole Tucker. Tucker. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Yankees. Hey, they're not all beautiful, and they don't all have to be. Just throwing a lawn dart over the third baseman's head right there. Beautiful piece of hit. Now batter, number 29. To the plate now, Clyde McGregor, as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he popped him up. Long run for the left fielder, and no one will track it down. Trying to send him packing for the second time. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well run, three run, run. times in a row with off speed. And another foul ball. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Now batting. The first baseman, John Palmer. Into the box, John Palmer. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. I think I'd take that one too. It's 0 and 2 now. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. They're down 4 nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and set to stand in is the veteran pitcher, the dude, Gerald. The dude, Gerald. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, a on, diving it, stop. He is out. Leading off of the end. The short first delivery to him on the way. Hey. Oh, and one. Out now. Yeah. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 hole hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. The batter. The At the plate, Henry Padilla. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Come on, fellas, let's go. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. fouled off no runs just one hit and no errors for the Yankees so far hit hard on the ground towards second reined in on to first and there were two down 
digging in the switch hitter Jason oh, Dominguez he looked to bounce back after good. striking out his Thank last you. time up yeah but it was a good change up Matty good arm action on that pitch look for him to try and stay back a little bit more let the ball get a little deeper don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here The wind up and the 0 1. Right by him no here, ball. and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. Two outs, fellas. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope, outside. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Striding in once again, Josh Ludwig will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely hey, overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Brendan Rodgers will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the Yankees. Number 22, Brendan Rodgers. One down, one down. Come on, get ahead, stay ahead. First pitch is a circle change for a called strike one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Big swing at the knuckle the curve gets oh, nothing but air. 0 oh, and 2 now. And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more is swung on and missed strike three. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. The left fielder, number 25. Yeah. Down, two down. So now to the plate, Josh Shatner. And there's a swing and a miss at an off one. speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. No hits to this point. Hey, come on, guys. Ball Here's right a breaking now. ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. One and one, here it comes. I think he held hey. up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. 
Nine one and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies four and the Yankees nothing. Evan Krasinski enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 59, Evan Krasinski. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, the dude, Gerald. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Gerald. Get your pitch, drive it right here. First pitch coming, here it is. A bouncer to the left side, and that'll get through into left, and you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than a leadoff single. He came to play today, not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. So the Phillies batting oh, order turns over and set to go. Mario De La Cruz. Mario De La Cruz. The 3 1. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Digging in and looking for more, Eric Tachiki. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised on, if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. On to first to complete the double play. Ready now, Rafael Marchand. Now runner in scoring Hector. position with Sugan. Rafael Marchand. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Padilla waits on it, and that's the third out. One left for Philadelphia. They lead it four to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Hey, Cole Tucker. No it was a single for him in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, still the only hit Tucker. in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Out. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 0. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. The batter, number 29. In now, Clyde McGregor. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down, one and one. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. One and one, here it comes. And it's one and two. It's one and two. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. 
to Cheeky. Range is back and he has it for route number two. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Next will be the cleanup hitter, John Palmer. The first baseman, John Palmer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's the Phillies four and the Yankees nothing. Settling in now, Wander Franco. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Here we go, guys. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Sent out to straightaway center field. You go, you go, your Carroll is right there, one down. Stepping in, Henry Padilla. Now batting, third baseman, Henry Padilla. First offering on its way. Ball. Counts 1-0. Oh. Here we go, guys. The 1-0 -oh home. Rounded one. slowly to one. the left side. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Ready for another chance? Now Jason back. Dominguez. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally Dominguez. back in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail here four to nothing. Now to the plate, the pitcher, the dude, Gerald. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as hey, well no as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Hey, keep it going up there. Clutch up. Throw over to the bag. Hey. Runner back safely. Hey, your turn. Drive him in. From the stretch. Hey! Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 right now. now. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Grounded back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. Hey, have a day right here. Third knock of the game for the pitcher. Don't be shocked if he's not in a three-hole for this manager tomorrow. Digging in, Mario De La Cruz. Number 25, Mario De La Cruz. A one pitch on its way. Weak grounder back to the mound. To second for one. Come on, come on. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Fine work there out of the Yankee bullpen. We're on to the ninth now in game number five. It's the Phillies four and the Yankees nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Josh Ludwig. And obviously they'll need a ninth inning rally here if this series is going to make it to a game six. 
Here's the first pitch. One, one, Sent one. on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first oh. for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. You're Elliot Ramos complete. will get the call here Big as he'll hit for the, for the pitcher. Number 18, Elliot Ramos. Swung on and missed its own oh, one. The O one. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. So the lineup flips over and digging in Josh Shatner. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Here's the first pitch. There's a knuckleball giggling at him over the inside corner. Two out, nobody on. We got two, two down. Swing and a ground ball. This could do it. And sound oh, the Liberty down. Bell. The Philadelphia Phillies have done it. They've won the World Series. Well, they just clinched the World Series title in front of the home crowd. And no doubt about it. This town is going to be rocking and rolling tonight, just like this stadium is rocking right now as they celebrate something they'll remember forever. They are the World Series champions. Back now on the show. More reactions now to this series clinching victory. And down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the Commissioner's Trophy to the new world champs.